Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance, and this resistance video is sponsored by contribution from Anonymous E. And here's our story. Hello, Ollie. I'm actually doing fairly well. One year of no contact from Drunky, thanks to you and your no nonsense advice. I still think about him, but without guilt. <clears throat> My husband is doing great, and we're enjoying having teenagers. Still waiting for the boys to start giving us a hard time like everyone says teenagers are supposed to do. Who knows, maybe we're the opposite of my parents. Maybe doing the opposite of my parents is working. I really like my kids a lot. Work life is awesome. I'm not rich yet. I'm not rich yet, but pretty stress-free thanks to all I've learned. I'm only really writing to give a quick update and support the channel, but I may have a topic for you that uh, that I've never heard you talk about f before. Now that I'm learning to stick up for myself and call people out, I've noticed the same thing popping up a lot. The phrase, that's just how he is, she is, usually followed by don't take it personally or don't be so sensitive. Yeah, I've heard that too. I used to hear it a lot at Macy's at work and I'd be like, oh, I don't care. I don't put up with fucking assholes. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I don't, that's, and, and you know, that's the problem. I get, to, we, we, we get to a point where I'm not just, I'm just not going to put up with your bullshit. I don't have to. You're a grown ass adult. What do you mean? That's just how he is. Fuck you. Like, fuck that. I used to hear about that, about my mother. Don't take it personally. Don't be so sensitive. You know, that's just how she is. How does that help me? So what is that? Just free reign? Because that's just how you are to torture everybody. In narcissism world, it is apparently. What is that about? That's just how they are. Like bad behavior gets excused because there's a long track record of bad behavior. I'll give one example. The maintenance guy at my work was inappropriate with me and I handled it, told him off. I shared what happened with a female store manager that I was acquainted with, hoping she'd have my back. A female in retail? Come on. A female store manager in retail thinking it's going to have another female's back? I mean, you're, you're, you're going into, you're going into like, you know, 10, per, 10, 10 to 15% rate of success on that. Hoping she'd have my bad if my telling him off came back to bite me. Her response was, you guessed it. That's just how he is. Don't be so sensitive. So I stayed away from her now too. I later realized I don't need anyone to have my back. Why would the guy complain about me? The last thing he'd want is for the property owner to ask me why I told him off. And he has, and he has since been fired for something unrelated. So no, so, so it's no issue. Anyway, I find this all really funny now, like I'm watching a comedy before working with you. I would have probably let this spin me out. I still really don't understand how what what you do works. I just know it does. I want to support it still when I can. Anyway, maybe there's a video in this. Hope you two are well. God bless. Anonymous C. You know, all that is is just it's just another gaslight for you to have to t to put up with people's bullshit. It's conditioning to put up with people's bullshit. And what I find is the people that tell you that that's how they are are weak. They're cowards. They don't want to stand up to it. And they get uncomfortable by you standing up to it. So they try to gaslight you. They knock you down to try to keep you quiet. Because most people don't want to see you become an alpha. They don't want to see you take control. They want you to be as miserable as they are. People who say that, they're, they're just telling you, like, I'm not going to stand up for myself and neither should you. They're cowards. They're cowards. They're enablers. I mean, that's just how it works, which is why we're always the squeaky wheel. We stick out like a sore thumb, sore thumb and we're always the problem. Because we're the only ones willing to fight back and call it out. That's where the heavy lifting comes in. That's where you're a troublemaker, troublemaker and the labeling and all that other nonsense comes from. Well, that's just how he is. So I got to take it? Why are you taking it? 
I mean, that should be, so you want to take that? You think that's acceptable? So why don't you do anything about it? But what you will find, especially in a work environment, is most people don't want to get involved. Most people are weak. Most people are going to look the other way. That's why you're on this channel. We're the squeaky wheel. We're always going to be the squeaky wheel. That's just what makes us us. Just know when to pick your battles. Just know when, when to realize that you are surrounded by enablers that are going to do nothing. And you can just sit back and say, you know what? I'm going to watch this. Now that I, I know what you are, I already know what they are. Now I'm going to watch you guys destroy each other and laugh. And what happened? The guy ended up getting himself fired regardless. So it all works out. And you get to be proven right. Like, obviously, if he got fired, it's more than you being too sensitive or that's just how he or she is. Sometimes things just work themselves out, too. So, I hope that helps. Thank you for all your support, Anonymous C, and thank you for the update. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comments section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like a private video made, or you'd like to sponsor a video like this for someone who needs help and can't afford it, or just make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful, because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you guys, all this goes away. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been The Narcissistic Resistance. Take care.